And hello wherever you happen to be watching from Carrow Road in Norwich. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Norwich City versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, I've been watching Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in various countries for a number of years and Stuart, he rarely disappoints. Well, I have to say, Derek, he's usually not interested in getting involved in any of the link-up play, but when the ball comes into the box or when he gets half a chance, that's when he comes alive. That's what makes him a great finisher. And here's the Norwich City starting 11. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. Granit Xhaka. Now Lacazette. Pepe. And return to Lacazette. And he read it well. And a creative look about this. Crossing into the middle. Not messing around with that clearance. Dangerous looking attack. Opportunity. Not out of the woods yet. Can he find the net? And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, here it is again, and just look how he turns away from his marker and then gets his shot away. That's a very good goal, you have to say. Arsenal restart the game then, and they have work to do as they try to wipe out that last goal. Granit Xhaka. Thomas. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce... But they dealt with the threat first. Campwell. Kieran Dowell. Rashidza. Nicola Pepe. White. Thomas now, on to Pepe, Thomas, and the emphasis is on creativity, showing patience, looking for the equaliser, and space for him to cut in, not to be this time, Puki, as clean as a whistle that challenge, Lacazette and he read it well defensively well as those stats confirm Norwich have struggled to get control of the ball so far but when they have won it back in midfield areas their counter-attacking has been excellent they'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment and a chance to whip it in here Les Malou Kieran Dowell pulls it back Les Malou chance here and he's made it a brace for himself the defender is just unable to stay with him and he's having a field day yeah. Yeah. 
Well, here's the replay, and it shows how patient they were in the build-up. Just so assured, waiting for the right moment. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Well, a second goal for them here. Thomas. Almost at half time, and they're making home advantage count, I think it's fair to say. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, from an attacking point of view, it's been a very good performance. I've really liked the way they've got the ball from back to front, then how the forwards have got away from their markers, and the speed of their attacks as well. It's been a really impressive first half. Could play it in. Good tackle, take it away. And breaking at pace with Menace. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Rashica. Now a decent position. Can he open the door to a potential goal? Well, the attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out. The first half here comes to an end. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Rashica. Kieran Dowell. Puki. On the ball, Pierre Les Melou. Dowell. Well, they keep passing away. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Nicolas Pepe. Now, Lacazette. Lacazette. Now he must favour the cross. Xhaka. Lacazette here. And still looking for space. Terrific block there. Pepe cuts it back. Well, here's the goal again, and it's all about the little Maradona turn to beat his man. Leaves him for dead. Ridiculous to be seeing that at this level. Well taken finish as well. It's a stunning goal. So there we have it. 2-1. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Rashica. Temo Puki. Can he play it in? That's how to dispossess your opponent. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. And a creative look about this. He has time to play it over. Partey. Still could put it away. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. So, 20 minutes to go. Buki. Will it happen for them? Chance to finish. And that is defending of the highest order. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. 
Nicolas Pepe. Partey. Keeping the ball moving. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle. The home side with the lead. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, it's been a decent performance from them. They've certainly played the more expansive football and had the better individuals. Can they now just see this through? Not long left. They have to show a commitment to attack Arsenal in these trying circumstances. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Time for a change then. Well, oh, that's an interesting pass. Nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. There will be one minute added on at the end. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. And there we have it. The Norwich City fans will go home happy on the back of this victory. What did you think of it? Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes and they fully deserved their victory today. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display. Opportunity, not out of the woods yet. Can he find the net? And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy.